Hey, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Manual Focus, and today, hey, we're going to be making some absolutely delicious fish and chips. A simple recipe, I got you in the game. We're going to go beer batter, fish, and then some special chips, right? Now, we ain't going like the fry style. We're going like chip chips, right? So, it's going to be a great recipe. Like I said, easy, beer batter, fish, and them chips. Hey, let's go down to this workstation, and we're going to focus on this recipe. In order to have some fish and some chips right you got to have a dipping sauce so what we're going to do is we're going to make the tartar sauce but we're going to do it angry style now you can customize your tartar sauce however you like i'm going to show you a new way to make some tartar sauce that's going to be absolutely delicious now hey we got to go in with that duke's mayo right so we got a cup of duke's mayo and then i got some diced jalapenos right like i said this is going to be a little angry um, tartar sauce now if you don't like yourself hot and spicy you can go with relish and that's what i would recommend if you want it on the sweeter side right like i said this is going to be like a new type of tartar sauce now we're going in with about a teaspoon of sugar and then we're going to go in with some dill weed we're going to hit about a tablespoon or so of this dill weed and then we're going to top it off with some black pepper so i'm going to go in with about a teaspoon or so a black pepper and then after that hey we just get this bad boy mixed in and we're gonna be in the game fam i'm gonna keep the salt out if you want to add salt you definitely can but again you know sometimes i watch my sodium and this is gonna be good enough without the salt because you got you know either the relish or you got the jalapenos that's gonna give it a bunch of flavor and that Duke's Mayo, man, I'm going to tell you, it's going to take it over the top. And I know you probably, you guys are probably, you know, debating in the comments what um, mayonnaise that you like. But I'm going to tell you that Duke's Mayo, that's where it's at. Give it a little taste and see what you like. If it's right, then you in the game, fam. Hey, that right there, that's absolutely delicious, fam. I'm going to put this in the fridge and let this chill. And then we're going to work on the rest of this recipe. Fam, we got two stations here. We're gonna have a wet station, which is gonna be our beer batter, and we got our dry station, right? Now, in the wet station, I'm going in with some cornstarch. There's about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Now we gotta get this bad boy seasoned up. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna mirror whatever we're gonna season it with, right? So we're going in with some black pepper. And I'm gonna hit it with about a tablespoon or so of black pepper, right? And I'm gonna do that for both of them. So whatever I'm doing here, I'm doing here. Cause you want your fish to be absolutely flavorful. Next, I'm gonna hit it with some onion powder and some garlic powder. I'm gonna go in with about a teaspoon of both. And then I'm going in with that Old Bay. I'm gonna hit it with about a tablespoon or so of Old Bay seasoning. Next fam, I'm going in with some smoked paprika that I smoked over some cherry wood. And we just gonna go with a nice little light sprinkle of that. So about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then lastly, I'm gonna hit it with a couple turns of salt. Not too much, because like I said, I like to watch my salt intake. So that'll be good. And we just get everything combined. Like so. And then we got our two stations. It's almost ready to go. So this is the beer choice I'm going with. You wanna go with like a nice little light beer, but you can go with whatever beer you like. So we're gonna go in with a little bit, right? And you don't wanna overdo it. You wanna make sure that you get a nice little consistency. So pour a little bit at a time. And once you get like a nice little consistency, which we'll get there and then I'll show you what I'm looking at. Then that out a little bit more. And then if you get it too thin, you can always add a little bit more flour, fam. So have no fear. So get everything mixed in. And we almost there, fam. So you see that right there? Get all your lumps out. 
and then you'll be in the game, fam. Nice little beer batter. And let me show you this. That's the consistency that you want right there. That right there. So I use about half a can, and it's about a pint of beer, right? So half of that, you in the game, fam. And then, like I said, you got a nice little consistency. Hey, we're going to sit this to the side because we got to make them chips, right? So, fam, we're going to get our chips done first. So, we're going to let this beer batter, you know what I'm saying, sit for a little minute until we cook them. Then, we're going to be ready to dredge that fish in the flour and then the beer batter. And then, it's going to go in that hot grease. So, let's get these chips ready. Hey, fam, we're going in with some russet potatoes. And you know what? What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to take the skin off. If you like to, you can definitely do that. And then I got my mandolin here. And what we're gonna do is we just gonna, you know, I got it at like on this one, it's like a level two. And then we'll just let the mandolin do its work. And be careful, cause this here is sharp. You don't wanna cut yourself, right? And it does have a tube that you can cut with, which I probably should have used that. But fam, Hey, look at this right here. This is going to be absolutely amazing. That's what I want right there. That size, that's perfect. So I'm going to get the rest of these, you know, sliced up. And then we're going to be in the game, fam. We'll get these in the grease. And then we'll work on that fish. Fam, we got the grease heated up 350 degrees. So we're going in with our chips, right? We're going to cook those first. Let those bad boys get nice, crispy. These won't take long. And fam, when you're cooking them, you wanna make sure, you know, they stay separate. You know, just like some lily pads, right? I know they gonna float. But, you know, they'll be ready to go when you, once you see them golden brown, they gonna be in the game. But again, you don't wanna overcrowd your pan. You know, just like anything that you fry, you don't wanna overcrowd it. But just like that, you see them floating just like lily pads. Hey, we're gonna let them brown up. We're gonna be in the game. And fam, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give these a little flip just to make sure, you know, we got even cooking on both sides, that both sides are getting nice and brown and that you don't have one side darkening the other. And as you can see, they starting to brown up on us. So we're about there and we're in the game, fam. All right, fam, so you see this right here. They got a nice little golden color, and they ready to come off. Now, what I'm going to tell you is once you take them off, just because the care of the temperature, they're going to continue to cook. But I'm going to put those, and look, I got a little casualty. I'm going to put these on a cookie sheet, baking sheet or whatnot, so they can drain, and then that'll keep them crispy. And then what you want to do also is why you got them on that baking sheet go ahead and season those bad boys while they're nice and hot got a little bit of that grease on it and that grease is going to retain you know some of that seasoning so as you guys can see right there i got them corned out and i'm gonna hit them with a little bit of that old bay going on top of it just like that and fam you're gonna be in the game so we're gonna get the other batches done and then we're gonna work on that fish all right fam so this is a fish of choice that i'm going with and as you can see, I got them on paper towel because they were frozen and I want to get them as dry as possible. So these are cod fillets right here. Nice little size, as you can see. And what we want to do is we want to get them in that flour first, get them coated like so. Once you get everything coated all sides, you're going to dust off that excess flour like so. And then we're gonna bring in that wet batter, right? So I'm gonna move this over to the side so you guys can see, dust it off again. And I'm gonna get my little mixing gadget out. And now we want to make sure that this gets, you know, coated in that wet batter. And as you can see, here we go. So we get it coated, nice and coated. And it's gonna be nice and thick. And what you wanna do is take a side, let it drip, and then you'll take it to the pan. We'll let it drip for a couple seconds, and then we're gonna put it in that oil, like so. 
I will let that bad boy fry up. But the hot oil is going to do for you is going to create a seal around that fish. So what I'm going to do is because we don't have a deep fryer, we're not like in a deep fryer, I'm just going to fan some of that grease over the top so it can make that seal on the top side of it. And we'll let this cook. And fam, you can go with more than one. I just put it in there, you know, just to show you guys the technique. And then we'll let this bad boy cook. Damn. So I didn't get the chance to show y'all. I flipped it halfway through the cook, but now it's ready to come out. And let me show it to you. Hey, look at this right here. Nice and golden brown. That's what you're looking for right there. That's what you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rest of them done and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Got the other batches ready to go. They about to come out. And again, look at this right here. You see it, golden brown. Hey, this is what you want. And what you wanna do, like I said, I already got that bacon sheet, that cookie sheet. You wanna allow these to drain on the cookie sheet and you don't wanna use paper towel because you don't want that back side to get soggy. So just like this right here, fam, hey, you in the game. Now we're gonna get this plated up and we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, folks, fam, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious fish and chips, beer battered fish, and you got those homemade potato chips. Hey, we gotta get a little dip in that angry tartar sauce. And fam, I gotta get one of them jalapenos in there. Hey, cheers, fam. Mmm. Hey, that's good right there. That's real good. Nice crispy crust. And that fish is flaky. Mm. And still hot. Mm. I'm loving that tartar sauce with that jalapeno. It gives it another vibe. I'm telling you, fam, you should try that. And we got those homemade chips. Hey, dipping in that ketchup. Hey, cheers, fam. Hey, that's good right there. Man, that is absolutely delicious, fam. That fish is absolutely phenomenal. And it is nothing like homemade chips, right? Now, fam, if you're new to the channel and you like this content, go ahead, smash that like button, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you know when I release my content. Now, for the Focus fam, it's been rolling me for a while. You already know what I gotta do. I gotta smash into these fish and chips. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hey, I'm about to roll out. Peace.